I like this one the best. Mm -hmm. It creates the best opposition. Ooh. Fuck! I just like completely lost feeling in my fingers. Feels so good! Such a superhero move to get that. As you can see in the intro, um, that's a future project that we're going to continue working on this autumn. And that's also the announcement that Patreon is back. And I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it quite a bit actually. But first, I want to talk about filmmaking. So a lot of you have noticed the quality of the videos lately and especially the last two months that it's gotten quite higher and it's also found like it's unique way of being filmed and structured. And that's, that's because like my health has gotten back to somewhat normal uh, the last couple of months. Um, the films that you see now, it's like that, those, are the, those are the starting points that I've had or dreamt about for the last couple of years. And I'm like, okay, I get, once I get my health back, I believe the films could go this way. I also want to touch on, and it comes now to the Patreon thing, is like, if I, when I love filmmaking so much, and my dream when you watch my, my films, my videos, is that I want you to be completely immersive and just disappear from reality and just like enjoy the film and on, go, on, on, go on the ride and like feel a lot of different emotions. Like, that's the dream I want to do. I don't want the most views. It was a long time since I cared about that. I just want to make the most immersive film that I can do. Um, and obviously, if you have ads in those special projects in those films, it, like, it ruins the entire thing. It like breaks my heart, and it's not definitely not the way forward for me. Um, so I've decided I'm going to take away ads on those special projects. Um, and obviously, that's like a financial hit, um, and that's also why where the patron comes in. Um, but I just don't want the patron to be like that in a way that it's just oh the patron just keeps this one video live. For me, it's like. If I'm going to continue making YouTube videos in the way I'm doing it, I want to be ambitious with it. I want to, I want to try hard. I want to keep improving and do, do big projects and, and like create like a community or place where people actually really enjoy filmmaking uh, on, on, on YouTube or in the climbing scene. Um, so so that's, like, that's the entire thing with the Patreon. Like it's, it's incredibly serious for me. Like it's what I've dreamt about for the last two years. Um, and right now we have three different tiers. So we have the three dollar tier. That's like with that you help keep the the videos ad free. And then with the second tier, it's it's five dollars. Then you get the premiere of this special film that already already exists on Patreon right now. You get that five days before it gets on YouTube. And then the seven dollar tier is you get like behind the scene footage. And since the videos now it's so story driven, there's so many like fun random things that happen when we're filming but also like the shenanigans that we do to get all the shots and everything that we need so on like the seven dollar tier like that's where the most fun things and like ridiculous things happen like that's some of the best memories like that's pure entertainment on that tier um so if you're interested in finding you know what we're doing behind the scenes of these films like you will get your answer there now you know my dream and now you know where i've been and what i've been up to the last couple of years uh, and to some extent you know a bit of the future. Uh, so I really hope you join the Patreon. And obviously I had a trailer in the beginning of the video and now we're gonna get the trailer for the project that is already up on, on Patreon. That will go live in five days. And then we'll run back to Gotland and have another video from there. Uh, it's route setting for Vivi. Come on, yes! No! Yeah, so here's like the final hold. <laughs> you see a little bit of chalk here. And then you see like there's this big expanse of moss right below. And then kind of right where it drops over the edge, that's kind of where the last good holds are. But uh, some warmed up and Mickey's giving me a little bit of the run through of the moves, some of the beta, and then I've checked out all the holds, caught them up, chalked them up, and uh, yeah, so I'm ready to give it a flash go. So we'll see, I mean, either this feels like the kind of problem, like it'll go down really fast for me, or it'll take a fair amount of tries. Where's 
tape? Where's the end of my tape? What are you doing? I'm making a extended brush. <laughs> this is the brush, and then this is mine. This is the stick. But you know, it's like it's got that nice flat side, so you know you have like good stability. <laughs> That's just, I mean, there's so many perfect sticks for this purpose. And he walks five minutes over there and gets the biggest one. <laughs> this is the perfect stick for the job. <laughs> okay, Compensating, bro. <laughs> Compensating? <laughs> See? Look how fucking solid that is. <laughs> Come on, Mikan. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we do when we're professional and forgot <laughs> about the harness. <laughs> you okay? Not too tight? Yeah, I think so. Is this safe? Ah, I think it's safe. It's more like if I will have any crown jewels left. Of <laughs> you will. I think. Nikin. Ah, you will. I <laughs> think. <laughs> but it will be worth the shot. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking scary. All right, hold on. I don't know what is falling on me, but... <laughs> All right, Eric, Shh. I think, yeah, I got, I got nervous <laughs> and I thought like, it was more like, oh, I have this. And then I kind of relaxed a little bit and then apparently I didn't have it. So I'm going to build a boulder for Vivi today. She likes dynamic things. She likes coordination. She likes crimps, she likes high steps. I've got the space behind me, this kind of corner feature. So I'm gonna see what I can dream up. So I'm gonna be using these orange Kilter Geo Complexes. These are also so, so sick. You know, just forever shout out to Kilter. They have a couple of these. They have the Granite Complexes, they've got the Geo Complexes. They're all just amazing holds. And I'm gonna be combining it with some uh, Technic Slopers. So I'm gonna jump on and set the beginning into the middle section. So that's gonna be the coordination move. And then lightly test that and make sure it works. Pretty happy with how the uh, how the start feels. Feels like it's a good feeling. You have to commit to the jump and really focus on getting the hips into the wall. So now I'm going to go into the middle section, which will be crimps, some layback, some biceps. So in this case, I'm not going to be stacking these holds because I don't actually have enough to stack them. But because we have a corner there, so I'm going to put these pretty close to the corner so that it's almost a little bit blocked. Not so it's uncomfortable, but well, you know you have to think about it. You can't just like wildly throw for these crimps. So I put my foot in the location that I want. As you see, there is a slight issue. That 
should not be there. And thus, I have this wonderful little volume, which I think, if I thought correctly, should fit right in there. You back to the start, Daniels? Yep, just adding a foot. Because now, when I was testing around, I realized that you need, I, was, I thought first that you could just smear on the wall to gain access to the middle section, but I think you need, you need something. So I'm gonna start off, this is gonna be like the best version, but then if I want, I can just swap it around, and then you get a really like a worse, a worse smear. We are almost done. I have my finish hold. One of these Technic slopers. It's gonna go up to the top. So this is gonna be, I have to place it far enough away from the, um, from the right hand that to really to force a mantle because I really want the per or Vivi to really sink down onto this foot and then press over, but then have it oriented so that she has to be really careful when she takes it. You can't just like huck for it like a jug. You wanna take it and then really control the body position. So Vivi's problem is now finished. I'm gonna give it a quick test and see how it feels and see if there's anything immediately that needs to change. Awesome, I really like that feeling. I think the last hold, I want to move a little bit more to the left. The rest of it I'm pretty happy with. <laughs> I forgot to get the hips in. It challenges your mentality to sort of like jump straight into a wall. Uh, so I have to just like, get a little bit warm and <laughs> try it again and and um, try the no fear te technique. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that was a good uh, that was a good burn. I feel like I got just the right amount of momentum, but I just wasn't ready to, to catch it. <laughs> so. In the end, like why, what happened there? Did you just like breathe for a second and then? Yeah, I think, I think when I need to, to like hold those type of moves, like where it's like just about the tension, if I breathe, I lose it. So I have to hold my breath, do the match and then allow myself to breathe. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to like actively try and hold it. <laughs> oh, baby.
yeah, I just had to find where I needed to put it because there wasn't like a specific place for it, mm. which was kind of interesting because everybody had it in a different place, but it still worked for everyone. What? Come on. No, yes, I will do it. <laughs> I'm super happy with the boulder. I thought it was. I enjoyed every every single move right up to the top, even if I dropped it a couple of times, which was a fun experience. So thanks, Nikken. What? How are you feeling, boy? I feel good. I, I didn't do the problem, but it's okay. But... Maybe comment, and we'll see you guys soon. You wanna do that again? Cause this one will be behind the scenes on Patreon, so. Okay, I'll try it. I'll Get a try flex it for, for the, the boys. For the Patreon boys. <laughs> <laughs>